Hi guys, my name is Lennox and and I am back with another another Super Smash Bros topic video. In the last episode, we talked about about the top 10 about my top 10 assist trophies that were deconfirmed um, and made into assist trophies in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. And today, we're going to we're going to talk about real characters that that should that should become DLC in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's right. These are my top t 5 or 10, five or ten um, characters that, that I think should get in as DLC. We'll see. Are you ready? All right, my first pick would be Tails from Tails from from Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedge Tails from Sonic. That's right. I want Tails in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Why? Because Sonic only has one, doesn't have any reps in in Smash Ultimate just yet. Yet. And remember, I talked about in the last episode with um, Knuckles and Shadow being removed. They're removed. I I said I forgot to mention. I want them replaced with uh, Metal, Metal Sonic and Dr. Eggman. Maybe, maybe they could be assist trophies instead of Shadow and Knuckles. But we're not gonna talk about that because we already talked about that. But, but anyways, here is why I think Tails the Fox should be, here is why I think Here's why I think Tails would be a perfect fit for a, another Sonic character rep after I talked about Shadow and Knuckles. Okay. And here it is. He should get in because we haven't seen him on Gre Green Hill Zone yet. We just see Silver right now. We just see S Silver right now. But I imagine he... He could get in, but we're not talking about him right now. Anyways, his his standard special move would be the, the tails attack slash t rapid tails attack from from Sonic Adventure. If it's uncharged, tails will spin in one will will spin in place once. It takes it does it will do small damage, but but higher at tips of his tail. Wind property is much. Much like those of Ness's PSI magnet, if it does not hit, when when it's charged, it will behave just like Luigi's cyclone. It will draw opponents inward, performing a multi-hit attack. It can be extended into the air, but but only if the appropriate direction on the stick slash D-pad are pressed. If if it ends on the ground, tails is dizzy for a short time. But so are those who are attacked for slightly longer. His his side special move would be the Tails Blaster, taken from Sonic Battle. This move could be just like Samus's standard special move, and a little bit like Mega Man's Buster. Recoil is proportion to to charge. In midair, this move can be used for hor horizontal recovery due to its. Recoil, similar to Bowser and Donkey Kong's up special move. And his down special move would be just like Sonic's. Would just be like Sonic's. Yeah. 
Next. However, tails um, will have a, a vacuum effect, unlike Sonic's. And his up special move could, um, it could just make him, make him fly, make him be flying. And his, and his final smash, and his final smash, hmm. Would be, would be, um, the tornado too. In which he will go. He will swoop. He will swoop around the stage horizontally, dealing DMG, d dealing damage to a anyone in, in its path. Tails lands in the crock pit, and the tornado two flies off the stage. Again, dealing damage to whoever Im it impacts. All right. Anyways, on to on to my next on to my next pick. On to my second pick. Now, one of the, one of the most, um, actually, no, let me try that again. Now I know you. Now I know you guys um do, don't like this character named character, but I think she. I think this character should get in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because come on, we got Birdo. Because Birdo is a Birdo would be a perfect fit for for an for a a playable character in Smash Ultimate. He would have. She would have a little bit of the same moves as Yoshi. Except, unlike, unlike, except, unlike Yoshi, she, she would just use her, she would use her tongue, um, her, um, she wouldn't, um, use her tongue to spit, to spit, um, people out and, and make them into eggs. She would just do it with your chunk. Although, it's not, although, I don't know if Yoshi, Yoshi would be able to, doesn't have a chunk. But, <laughs> <clears throat> but anyways the reason why I want Birdo is because we got we got Daisy in the game and and Waluigi again being an assist trophy unless that they change him and we got the reveal of Piranha Plants so here is why I think I think 
Birdo will be able to be become a playable character. Victor. Um, her neutral air would be he will she would somersault into the air once blowing powerful air bursts, and she will start um up. Her startup takes a, a while to while, but the effects are rewarding. She'll have have a great launch power, sending the victim victim up. Though doesn't burn, it makes the the explosion of sound effect. And although she, although it wouldn't be like um, Yoshi wouldn't do, Berto wouldn't do the um, the. The 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 Berto bomb, <laughs> bomb just like Yoshi would do. She would just plant an egg in the, on the ground, just similar to like um, Snake's down smash in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And her final smash, although it wouldn't be like Yoshi's, she would. It would be the final smash would be called Play with Me. She would lift her head up to the sky and shoot a dozen of giant bomb eggs. Once they've reached their impact, the eggs will, will will come raining down alternatively. Each egg takes out 15% upon contact with pretty good launch. The way to dodge it is to look very carefully and and time your rolls and dodges. Jeez. So yeah, that's Berto for you. And... Um... Like I said, she wouldn't be able to use the same music as Yoshi. She, her. <clears throat> her. Her thrills wouldn't be the same as Yoshi. Since um, she doesn't use a tongue, she uses her. She uses her. Um, what you call it? I'm trying to think. Oh, her trunk. Yeah. That's that. Alright, I'll talk about the uh, my other couple in the next episode.